It looks like blood. It behaves like blood. But is it blood? Here at Sveritech, based in Runcorn in Cheshire, they're trying to replicate the real thing. So in order to purify our artificial blood, we pass it around the tubes using a peristaltic pump, round and round again. The life science company has been awarded a government grant of £70,000 to fund a £100,000 research project to manufacture blood. Can you tell me about some situations where this type of blood would be useful? Situations like open heart surgery where you may use 20 litres of blood that gets wasted. Uh, trauma, so in the back of every ambulance, in the back of every police car, in the back of every fire engine. NHS Blood and Transplant say there are many companies around the world attempting to manufacture blood and they're all at varying stages. Though, they say whatever the outcome, there'll always be a need to donate blood as synthetic blood will never replace human blood. I don't think they'd ever be able to create synthetic blood that would replace donors. I think what they're trying to do is obviously uh, an incredible thing and if they did manage to do it then obviously it would be helpful to all people needing blood products. Um, but as it stands I don't necessarily think synthetic blood will deliver that diversity that we need within up front, that we gain from all of the, the, our blood donors and the products that we collect from them. Any advances that mean that uh, there isn't a shortage of blood or blood products for me is I think it's clearly be a good thing. Well, as long as it's the right blood group and has all the, the right characteristics yeah, it sounds like a, a good thing. NHS Blood and Transplant says it takes over a million donations each year but a further 200,000 donors are needed. According to Sveritech, it could take several years before researchers come up with a viable blood substitute. Dina Campbell, BBC Northwest Tonight.